imagine having an AI powered standalone personal assistant equipped with super smart camera module which you can interact with through chatting, giving commands and assigning tasks that it can execute based on AI powered observation. Sounds futuristic right? Well, now it's a reality. Meet the SenseCap Watcher. This assistant goes beyond basic functionality. It can interact with microcontrollers and microprocessors like Arduino and Raspberry Pi, enabling users to create AI-powered smart projects using camera feeds. For Arduino enthusiasts, creating camera-based projects has always been challenging. With the SenseCap Watcher, you can now easily monitor designated spaces, identify and interact with specific targets, and sport noteworthy details seamlessly. Even Seed Studio provides so many sensor modules that can be connected to the SenseCap Watcher. Not only sensors, they also have different microcontrollers for different requirements, different shapes and sizes. Now, let's open the box and see what's inside. So here we go. The box contains the SenseCap Watcher neatly packed. We'll return to it shortly. So inside the package, other than that, there is also a cardboard box containing accessories. These include stands and connectors to set up the watcher as a neat stand, which I'll demonstrate soon, and a USB Type-C cable for connectivity. This can be used for charging as well as connecting it to computer or other devices. Now, let's examine the SenseCap watcher itself. There are two variants available, one with a white enclosure and another with a clear enclosure, like the one I have in my hand. This device is packed with features and sensors, all housed in a compact and well-designed enclosure. On top, there is a roller wheel for scrolling and selecting options. The module's highlight is the OV5647 camera with a 120-degree field of view and a fixed focal length of 3 meters. The front features a 412 into 412 resolution touchscreen display. Additionally, it includes a microphone for voice input and speakers for audio output. A micro SD card slot here support up to 32GB FAT32 micro SD card. The watcher also features two USB Type-C connectors, one at the back for power supply and another one at the bottom for power and programming. Extension interface allows users to connect additional sensors and interact with microcontrollers. It's powered by a 4000mAh inbuilt battery, enabling wireless operations and support Bluetooth 5 and 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi connection with strong inbuilt antennas for seamless wireless connectivity. At its core, the watcher is powered by the MCU ESP32 S3 running at 240 MHz with 8 MB PS RAM and it features a built-in AI processor, the HiMax HX6538. Another notable accessory included in the package is a stand with connectors that allow you to fix the watcher in any position or even attach it to a tripod. Now, we can turn on the watcher by pressing this roller button and it will start to boot and you will see this awesome animation. Now, let's take a look at what it can do. First, we will take a look at some of the inbuilt tasks. Here, using the roller wheel or using the touch screen itself, we can go to task templates. Here, you should be able to see a few tasks that we already have out of the box. Now, let's go to the task templates and select human detection. If we need to see the camera feed, we can simply scroll the wheel. Now, if I go in front of the camera, the watcher will be detecting me and notification will be sent to the mobile phone. Now, let's try one more time and see how it goes. Okay, it has detected me and the notification has been sent. Now, let's try gesture detection. So this inbuilt program automatically detects three gestures, that is rock, paper and scissors that we can make with our hands. Let's try scissors. Okay, perfect, that has been detected. Now let's try rock. Alright, perfect. Now let's try paper. Okay, perfect. This is the inbuilt gesture detection program. Now let's try pet detection. At the moment, I don't have any pets, but let's try to bring the picture of a pet cat in front of the camera. As you can see, it is detecting my face as well as the cat's image. So, the cat has been detected and the notification has been sent to the mobile phone. That was pretty cool, right? Now, let's see what we can do with it when paired to a phone. In order to get started, all we need to do is download SenseCraft application from Play Store or App Store. We can connect it to the mobile phone via Bluetooth, which is a pretty simple, straightforward process. And now, we can simply connect to our paired watcher. 
Now, if you open it, you will be greeted with this chat screen where you can chat and send tasks to a watcher. And to be honest, I have never seen anything this simple before. The way it does is pretty simple. All we have to do is tell it what we want to do in simple English and the app will automatically analyze the requirement and create a code and a model for the particular task and it will be sent to the watcher in less than 15 seconds. So everything is like near real time. Now let's see some examples. Now let's see this process in detail. Now I am going to tell the app to alert me and send me a photo if somebody is not wearing a mask. So once it is done, simply click on send and the app will automatically create a model. To see more details, we can simply tap on detail config. Here, we can see complete information and configuration for this particular model. Now, all we need to do is tap on run task. So this task will be sent to the SenseCap watcher. Now, the SenseCap watcher is monitoring everything in front of the camera. Now, if I remove the mask, it will be detected in a few seconds and the notification along with the photo will be sent to the SenseCap watcher. And here you can see my photo has been taken and sent to the chat. And here we can see the photo. Now, let's do another example for object detection. Okay, just now I told him to alert me if a yellow object appears in front of the camera. So, the model has been created and upon tapping run, this model will be sent to the SenseCap watcher. Now, let's bring a yellow object in front of it. Okay, perfect. As you can see, the yellow object has been detected and the notification will be sent to the application. So, here we got it. A message along with the photo has been sent to the application. While exploring the official website, I discovered that SenseCap Watcher has a playful name, Nobody, signifying that it's a robot with no body. Guys, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The possibilities are endless. Do make sure you check out the link in the description and if you have any doubts, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. We will be replying it as soon as possible. So if you like this video, make sure you give this video a like and to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. So see you in the next video.